Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie and well, I've already filmed one back to school video which was Period Sucks and I wanted to film another one which I think is kind of different and maybe hasn't been done yet. This video is going to focus on tips and hacks that will help you get that perfect ID picture for school whether you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, even college. Because as far as I'm aware, in middle school and high school, when you take your picture, that's the picture that goes in the yearbook. And you want to look good in the yearbook. And well, for college, that's pretty much the picture you use while you're there all four years. And this even can apply for your driver's license. So if you guys want to see what tips and hacks I have, please stick around and let's get started. So for this video, it's very simple. I'm going to let you guys know some stuff that's going to help you create that perfect ID picture. Before I start with anything, I have to say a couple things that just come to mind really quickly is whoever's taking your picture, be friendly to them. Don't act annoyed, don't act like you're in a rush because trust me, whatever your personality is, is going to come across to the other person and if you are annoyed, they will become annoyed and they're in charge of your picture. So just think about that. Another thing is, if you're in elementary school, middle school, and even high school, you guys know what I'm talking about. You'll go for picture day, and they all have those combs, and they're like ready to brush your hair. Don't let them brush your hair. That is the most common way to get lice when you're younger, and even when you're older. Don't share hair brushes. And just, you know, take your own in your pocket, or be like, no, I already brushed my hair, thank you, because you don't want to get lice. Find your angle. When you take your driver's license picture, the camera is pretty much like parallel to you. When you take a picture for school, that camera's a little higher. Just make sure that your chin is not down because you are going to come out with a double chin even if you don't have one. And like let's say I am prone to doing that and then I get this little like lump right here. I've had it forever. It's not going to go away. So always put your chin up higher. Not like this, because then people are going to be looking up your nose. But find your angle where your face looks, you know, fine. And, well, if you don't mind the double chin, then go for it. So, one of the biggest hacks that I have for the perfect ID picture is learn how to smize. Tyra Banks would be proud. If you give a little more expression in your eyes, you're not going to look as serious. And I've noticed, like, when they take your ID picture, you end up looking like, like it's a mugshot. And that's not what you want to follow you for a year or four years, however long you have this ID. So make sure you give a little smile with the eyes, you know, like, you know, you can have to smile with your mouth if you don't want to. Just learn how to smile. It's going to make a huge difference in your picture. All right, so this is something that applies to people that wear makeup. Do not think that because you're going to be in front of a camera, you need to put on a lot more makeup than you normally do. Because in front of the cameras that they use for IDs in general, it's not that flattering. So a hack is to go for a more natural look. You can use a little bit of highlight, you know, bronze it up. Just don't do like the highlighter challenge. Do not put your face full of highlighter because the light that they use will reflect right off your face and then you're just going to look like a cloud, not a cloud. Ooh, another tip that I have from you and I actually learned this from Janine Amapola on YouTube is if you're going to take a picture and you know you are, do not use foundation or any face makeup with SPF in it because that will reflect when they use a flash and your face will just look washed out instead of all the time that you put in your makeup. So for pictures, avoid makeup with SPF. From elementary to high school, they always use those like blue, green, black drops, you know what I'm talking about. So don't wear something that's going to be washed out with the backdrop. Try staying away from blues and greens and like colors that you know they're going to use as a backdrop. You know, neutral colors work, like black. Uh, they don't recommend white, but if you want to wear white, go ahead. Just like colors that are not the backdrop colors, because then you just won't be a floating head on your ID picture. Make sure that you know what you're going to do with your hair. Don't try, well, I mean, you could try if you want to, but don't go for something super drastic the night before that you've never experimented with. Experiment a couple days beforehand. If it works, do it for your ID picture. Just be careful what you do to your hair. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. These are just some tips and hacks on how to obtain the perfect ID picture for school or the perfect picture for the yearbook. If you guys like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I am most active. 
And I created a second channel, guys, so if you haven't subscribed to that yet, it will be in the down bar. And let me know what you guys think. I'm between everyday stuff and stuff on the go. With that being said, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.